morning, uh, morning members of the media. The actions of the unelected governor yesterday in usurping the wheel of a democratically elected parliament, which last week voted unanimously for commission of inquiry, is an insult to every single voter in this country. The parliament has spoken, and the government has a responsibility to act. The Progressive Labour Party unequivocally rejects the governor's action. He has acted outside of his remit by undermining the people's will. He has made a mockery of parliament and disrespected the Bermudian people. In his failure to act, democracy has been robbed from the people of this country. This is the latest of many steps by this government, who represents the UK government, which are questionable and problematic. The Progressive Labour Party will not participate in a parliament which over the last 18 months has been reduced to a sham and a farce. We call on the people to peacefully express their grave displeasure with this offensive action by the British government's representative and encourage the people of this country to join us as we march on Government House this Tuesday, where we will call for the Father. One, the immediate recall of the governor, and two, the immediate restoration of our limited democracy. Our forefathers have fought for our rights, and in 2014, the Progressive Labour Party will not stand by while our rights are trampled upon. We will not allow our people, who are already second-class citizens, to be systematically reduced to third-class citizens in the country of their birth. Now is the time to have courage and faith in ourselves and avoid the temptation of appeasing those who act in a manner that is contrary to the interests of the Bermuda. Sir, the governor has stated that uh, this process to be revisited in the time. Absolutely. It's an absolute waste of time. The process began with the Democratic elected representatives of the people bringing substantive motion to Parliament. It was unanimously approved by Parliament. And so the government has shown that he is willing to exercise power within our internal affairs and disrespect the will of the people. That's who we represent. And enough is enough. And so any further attempts to try and water down this, this decision would come to naught. We understand and recognize exactly what the intention of Governor House and others who have been speaking to the governor and encouraging him to do what they can or what he can to ensure that justice is not served in this country. We understand the spirit behind it, and as far as we're concerned, democracy has been robbed from the people of this country. It is our responsibility to ensure that it is restored. I'm calling on every single right thing in Bermuda whether you voted for the One Bermuda Alliance, the Progressive Labour Party, or you decided not to vote. This goes beyond party politics. It's about us accepting our rightful place in the country of our birth. So yes, we encourage everyone to come up and march up the government halls. Obviously, it's time to take action. I made one statement to the Speaker of the House in our meeting this morning, and that is, is that my mama told me, I'm sure my Mothers of my colleagues to them, and if you do not hear, you must speak. I'm now turning over to MP Walter Vaughn, Shadow Minister of Immigration and External Affairs. Yes, good morning, everyone. The governor's decision is an affront to democracy. As the leader has said, there was a clear demonstration through Parliament of what the people wanted, and that was a commission of inquiry. The Commission of Inquiry was meant to deal with long-stemming issues of land theft, uh, property dispossession. The issues involve people in this country who have had and still have tremendous power and influence. I have no doubt, we have no doubt in our minds that the governor has been influenced in this decision by this collusion among those who may well be identified in some of these claims, along with members in the OBA. And it is reminiscent of what took place in the 1960s, where you had this collusion among those who held political power, those with economic power, 
and working with the governor to suppress the people's aspirations and people's rights. So this calls, in our view, for his immediate recall. It cries out for a just outcome, and the only just outcome is to have a commission of inquiry. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, we scared to name any names. You mentioned that um, the governor is being influenced. Who is he being influenced by? No, we're not going to call any names. I mean, I think the people of this country could connect the dots. It's a not so subtle secret. In fact, it's not a secret as to the, the long standing relationship that the UK has with some persons in this country. And where collusion was used, but it can be also looked at as a partnership. And it's an unhealthy relationship because the majority of the people of this country are sacrificed for narrow self interest. And quite frankly, enough is enough. You have, um, the, the governor gave quite detailed reasons for the decision. Um, do any of these reasons have any kind of merit? No, none. The people have spoken through the representatives in a democratically elected government. So whatever rationale His Excellency has decided to present to us as to avoid a commission of inquiry holds no weight nor water and we do not uh, give it any credence or recognition. Okay, my second question has to do with um, the fact that the governor has these powers because we're a colony. Could um, this state of affairs be, I mean, some, some critics might say within the PLP that your party has abandoned your own core values to try to bring this country to its end. What do you say to that? If we had abandoned our core values, we wouldn't be standing right here taking the stand that we're about to take to mobilize and awaken the people and their consciousness in this country for them to start having the courage to become the masters of our own destiny. We do not, we, remember, we pay the governor's wage, we pay all his expenses. He is a civil servant who represents Her, uh, Her Majesty and the FCO in the UK. But we, as a people, are still second-class citizens. And so we're not going to stand by idly and allow even in this second class status, our rights to be trampled upon. And so it's our responsibility to mobilize the people of this country and I hope those who are right thinking and have a conscience are willing to come and join with us because again, a new relationship has to be created in this country. If not, then the country is going to have, as a trade union leader had already said earlier this week or last week, a very long and hot summer. And I don't think anyone is willing to take that risk. Well, you, were, you knew from inception of the party itself that the governor did have these type of powers. He doesn't have to sign a bill to do a government for 14 years. You know, as a party, and, and I address this to Mr. Brown, who has been the most vocal um, proponent for independence. What's your view? Yeah. Our view, uh, the PRP view, is that the governor, through custom and practice, is obliged to reflect and respect the will of the people, as expressed in Parliament last week. So there is a formal process that one needs to go through, but just as one would not expect the governor to reject a piece of legislation passed by Parliament, we would not, not expect the governor to reject this call for a commission of inquiry. Is this the first time it's ever happened? Yes. Any more questions? Media. My, my last statement for the public, as I, as I read a few minutes ago, the Progressive Labour Party will abstain from participating in Parliament until we have a solution to this issue. There's no way that we can uh, participate in what amounts to be a sham and a farce. And it's a continuation of 18 months of farcical behavior in the House of Assembly. And again, we don't feel it's necessary in fact, we don't feel that we should go ahead and do an injustice to the people who placed us here by going and participating in an institution that has, is lacking what obviously seems to be a moral compass. No participation in... Uh, no. Nope. A unified front. Mm -hmm. A unified front? Yes. Absolutely. 150%. Enough's enough. And the time for us to take action is now. So you're not going to hear myself or my colleagues speaking 
too much further and getting into a political or media debate with the One Bermuda Alliance or Government House. As I said, when you're done here, you must feel. And now's the time.